guys, it's Alisa here, or the Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello. Uh, welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you're coming back. Um, I really appreciate you are taking time out of your day to check out my videos. Um, I have an unboxing here for you. Um, this is a stackable diamond painting tray tower. Now on the box, it's called, the brand is San Ferni. It's a 36 slot ink pad holder, but um, I've seen people use this to hold their diamond painting trays if they want to kit up into them and have a tower system. So it was on sale when I checked Amazon Canada. So I thought I would order it, um, show you guys it, test a few different trays that I have from a few different companies, um, see how they fit. And then I am probably going to give this away. Yeah. Let's get into this. So I may end up filming this in a couple um, uh, clips. It just depends how hard it is for me to put together. As you can see, and I hope you're going to be in frame the whole time, I can't actually see the, the phone screen um, because I'm too short. So I hope we're in frame. Um, it comes in this thin box, thin square box from Amazon. Okay, I'm going to pull it out of the packaging here. Let me grab my scissors. I hope you are having a good day or a good evening, night, whatever time it is that you're finding yourself watching this. I also hope you are being kind to yourself, not too hard on yourself. Um, I know for me that's very easy to fall into that negative pattern of <laughs> being too hard on myself. So it does look like this requires a bit of, you're gonna hear a loud noise here. Let's see if I can cut it instead. Um, it does look like it requires a bit of work to put it together. Let's see here, let me remove the bubble wrap. I'm just gonna put it off to the side. Comes with some instructions, which is always handy. I'm just gonna take a quick scan over these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put this together and see what happens. I may have to wait until my husband wakes up and have him help me. Um, because as I've said many times, my hands don't work. And right now it is 6.45 in the morning. Technically it's still 5.45, we had, um, I'm filming this on a Sunday when our clocks changed. Okay, let me see. This is the back, right? Yes, this is the back. I just wanna make sure I get the right pieces. This one goes here. I hope I'm mostly in frame here for you. I am filming on my kitchen counter <laughs> to see how much space I have here. It does come with the tools needed. Let me just cut this open. Little screwdriver, you can see, and some screws. It is nice. I was worried that this would come already assembled in a big box, which would mean shipping it to somebody um, would be pricey. But I'm, I'm glad to see that um, you can assemble it yourself. And I don't think it's going to be that hard to assemble. Um, it's just a matter of finding the right pieces. You know what I'm going to do just to save everybody time and watching um, a very boring clip of me trying to read instructions at 6.45 in the morning. I'm going to pause the clip, put this together, and then come back and talk to you. Hi guys, I'm back. This didn't take very long at all. I just had to click a few pieces into place. Um, let me turn it on its side. You can see along here, there's just it just clicked into place in a few different areas. You just follow the instructions. That is the setup. I'm just gonna put the shelves in here with you. Um, they just slide in so you can see. This is a very thick kind of, I don't know if you call it a foam board. I think it is foam, uh, but it's very, very thick, which means it's very sturdy. 
and these just slide into here. They go very easily. Um, I've shown a picture before. Um, back when I first started diamond painting, I, I had an entire almost 70 tray tower system at the time from Bella Art Day Nicole. Um, shortly after I had that system is when I first saw this and I thought, darn, I wish, I wish I had known about this first because it is a cheaper option for Canadians. Um, not many tray developers 3D printed tray developers in the community make tray towers. Uh, Bella Art Nicole, I think, was the first or is the only um, that I can think of for versatile tray towers. Uh, DP Gal Creations in Canada recently started making their own tray towers, and I know she spent a lot of work um, having that design for her. Um, and then there's this. Now they do have a few different options um, in sizes. They have a slimmer model, but the slimmer model probably wouldn't fit most diamond painting trays. So this is the regular 36 slot model. I believe there was also like a 90 something. I probably should have looked at that before I, before I say that, but I will link the options in the description of the video. So I'll put this link first and then I'll, I'll link a couple options, um, that this company also has. Um, let me grab some trays and show you how they fit. I've grabbed a one each of all the trays that I have on hand right now. Um, I have a Bella Art Dana Cole large, um, tray. Her trays come with a sliding lid and a stopper. This is the large size. I have one of the Bella Art Day Nicole Essential Trays, which is a very small one, similar size to the green boat or little white trays that you get in diamond painting toolkits, the free toolkits. I've got my Mooney Made, one of my Mooney Made trays. Um, I don't have as many anymore. Um, my mom stole two of them or I, I gifted her two of them when I got her into diamond painting a couple months back. Um, my small Mooney Made. I only have the small size. Hers also comes with a lid that pushes on and a stopper that you can remove. Uh, she also has another size, the large. Um, I don't have one. Um, I have in the past and I found them way too big for me. Um, and then I have a couple sizes of the DP Gal Creations. These are um, one of the most common trays I use. DP Gal Creations is in Alberta, Canada. Um, and this is the small. I have a medium and I have a large. Um, so let's see how they fit. Now I'm not going to stand this up. I'm going to, so I'm going to put them in, um, like this, just because if I stand this up, you're not going to be able to see just the way that I have the camera set up. Um, so most importantly, I wanted to see width wise, which trays fit in. So this is the Mooney made tray. So as you can see, I think it fits perfectly. Um, the little tip sticks out just a tiny bit and that makes it super easy if you're diamond painting to grab the tray that you need. So this could easily fit 36 small Mooney made trays. Uh, Mooney made also, um, those that don't know, she is actually, um, brain fart. She's actually um, having her first baby uh, pretty soon. Um, so she has changed, decided to change the way she does her drops. I believe instead of doing her, um, I think it was Wednesdays, instead of doing a Wednesday evening drop with just random trays, she is going to do a monthly drop and then work through a custom list. Um, so on her website, she has a custom listing that you can sign up for. Now that wait list is going to be pretty long now. It's been up probably for a couple weeks. So you're going to have to wait. But the nice thing is eventually you will get a Mooney made tray. Um, and I believe you can pick from her all of her color options. That's how I used to get most of my Mooney made trays was when she would do a custom listing. She used to do them every month. I think every month. Uh, she used to do them uh, back last year. Um, let's try the Bella. So this is the Bella Essential Tray. Now, um, this one doesn't have a lid, um, but I just wanted to see. Obviously, it's going to fit. It's small. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. So it does fit in there. Um, it would wiggle around a little bit, but you're going to have this standing on a table and likely not moving. So I think you could also fill this with a bunch of Bella Essential Trays if you want. These trays are cool. They have a little ramp here um, so that uh, diamonds don't come out. They don't come with a stopper though, so keep that in mind. Bella Artie Nicole, this is her large tray that comes with a sliding lid and stopper. 
that also fits nicely. It sticks out a little bit, which is nice because it's going to make it easy for you to grab. Um, and you can put the sticker label right on there. Now, if you do kit up into Bella Art Dana Cold Trays, and the DAC label, the sticker paper, you know, the labels, um, they tend not to stick well on 3D printed things. That probably goes for any labels from um, any of the shops. It's just the nature of the sticker paper, the glue. Um, what I used to do is I would cut a piece of chalkboard sticker and put it down first and then put the label on top and it would stay put the entire, through the entire diamond painting. So that's just a little tip should you kit up into uh, Bella Ardena Cold Trace. Here are the DP Gal Creations. So this one is the small size. That fits perfectly in there. It, it's um, poking out just enough that you could grab it easily, no problem. Um, this is the medium size, sticking out a little bit more. If you wanted, you could probably, yeah, you could get away with a large tray if you really like that size. Um, for me, if I was to, to kit up into trays, this would just be standing on my table. So it doesn't matter if, if it comes out a little bit to me. Um, my favorite of the DP Gal creations is the uh, medium size though. I multiplace a lot and this, this is perfect. Um, it's, it's it's a nice size that I can hold it comfortably. And um, if I need to add extra drills, I just add extra drills. So here is the, and I might not say the company name right, San Fernie, um 36 slot ink pad holder is what it's called. But we can use it for diamond painting trays. I believe they also have one labeled diamond painting trays now because so many uh, people um, are using this product for that. I'm just going to bring the paper up here. That's their website www.sanferni.com. You can watch the installation video to assemble faster. I didn't need to. These instructions were just enough. Um, you literally just click it in like a little puzzle and uh, off you go. Now, the part that I didn't, um, I didn't do, brain for it again that the screws came with are these little, I think, suction cup. Yeah. So if you were to to, if your desk is against a wall and you wanted to secure this to the wall, let me just flip it over. If you wanted to secure it to the wall so that it doesn't accidentally get knocked over, these little things can fit right in there and then you can lock it in and this is a sticky back paper. So that's really helpful if you, if you are, if your desk is near a wall and you wanted to secure it that way. What I uh, used to do is, um, for my tray, sorry, for my tray towers, I would put a, the sticky silicone mat underneath and it just gave it a little more security so it wasn't sliding around. Um, let me stand this up and I'm going to move the camera so that you can see it this way. Let me put some trays. So you can see them this way. I'm going to take the camera out of the filming arm, so bear with me. I'm going to go on a little ride, watch my fingers, and here we are. Here is it. Here it is standing up. Um, so that's very nice. I'll put the dimensions down in the description of the video too. It's a good size. Um, you also can put some trays on the very top up here. Like that. Um, these are, this is the Bella Art Dana Cold tray. So you can see that it just sticks out a little bit. Bella Essential tray. It fits right back there. You could easily grab it like that. Then the DP Gal Creations trays, and then the Mooney made small tray over here. So you could easily fill this with a few different uh, trays from various small shops if you have a, a collection started. Uh, I hope you find or found this video helpful. Um, I had been asked to uh, share some thoughts on this. Um, I've seen other creators unbox it, um, but I've never um, seen it in person or tried it myself. So I wanted to be able to give a honest review and what I think. Um, if I kit up into trays again, I would definitely get another tower um, and I could kit up most Diamond Art Club paintings into trays. It's kind of igniting my my fire for kitting up into trays. Kitting up into trays was so easy. Um, it made diamond painting a lot faster. You just grab the tray and go instead of pouring your containers in, out, in, out. 
It made it really easy if you forgot a couple diamonds, if you missed a symbol on the canvas and you could just quickly grab it. Um, so, so I don't know, I might try um, kidding up into trays again. We'll see. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, all the links will be down below. I will link the Canadian shop. The Canadian, I'll try to do both the Canadian and the American, Amazon.com. You can look them up both on your own by just typing in the, the company name. Um, I'll hold it up here for you again. By typing in Amazon, the search bar, S-A-N-F-U-R-N-E-Y, ink pad holder. And it should pop up with a few of their various options. Um, until next time, have fun diamond painting, and we'll see you later. Bye.